Salam, salam. This is Unity, and I'm here to show you all how to make this beautiful design. This is not a tutorial to show you how to make every step of the earring, because you could use this design on art pieces as far as like big wood art, canvas, t-shirts, any type of um, foundation you like to do this design on. So I'm not going to be showing y'all how to create the holes and the jump rings and all that. I'll do that in another video. But with this video, I'm just going to show y'all how to create the design. And also, y'all can use this design on anything. It is my design, but I'm giving it to the world so y'all can use it, okay? All right, so let's get started. What you're going to need is some acrylic paint. And you can use any color you want to use. Spring, summer type of design. And I want to make it fun. I'm, I'm going to use some cute colors. So let's use... I'm going to use... Um, Let's do yellow, red. Yellow, red. So let me put some red down. We can use the red. And we're going to use some yellow. And um, what other color? Let's do green. You know, little rasta colors. Yellow, red, green. You get your brush, your paint brush, and then I just I can't see what I'm doing, y'all. So I'm just gonna paint it. Be in my zone like the camera is not even there. So I just do the tip. So we using rasta colors, and what we what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna put the blood on the top, like it's like blood on the head. A rasta told me that one time. So let's put the green at the top, which is the the land. And then we get another brush. And we're going to put the gold in the middle. And I'm going to tell y'all, a lot of people ask me, they say, um, your colors be just so popping. They be so bright. One of the main things that you can do to make your colors bright, we didn't, I didn't base it on this pair. Um, is base it, use a primer. And white but I'm gonna tell you a lot of times I don't use primers I think it's just my me and my energy because it just my earrings just pop like that I'm, I'm just telling y'all it's just I, I don't know sometimes I don't use it but I'm telling y'all with you know, just the art world you just use a base so then we're gonna put this red at the bottom Okay. And I'm going to make all this really neat. This is just for the tutorial. It's going to be really... I'm going to go back up once I'm dry and kind of go over them. So cute Afrocentric earrings for the... You see these? Well, we got that. I'll go back over there. I'm showing y'all with brushes because usually I like to paint with my stick. I'm not a big brush person. So at this bottom, I want to use a color that I would rarely use. Let me think of a cute color at the bottom. Mmm. Let's do. No, hold on, hold on. Let's do purple. I think that'll just be different. So we're gonna put a kind of like a dark purple. Everything I'm gonna fall down a long way. Okay, so we're gonna put a purple. And believe me, y'all, all this paint gonna be used. Cause I'm gonna make a couple more pair with that. I'm not gonna let that paint go to waste. Okay, so we're going to use this brush, and we're going to paint purple. And you'll see a little bit of the red on there, but it'll 
I should have washed it a little bit better. the one and then this color is called um this is the color it's called dinoxin purple it's interesting because when it when it um dries it looks kind of black but when you look at it you'll see that it's purple so it's kind of like an illusion of black but when you look at it it's more of a deep purple so I like this color I hope I'm not I hope y'all can see what I'm doing okay well, let me move my hand out the way so I'm gonna let these dry and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all once they dry I'm gonna you know go in with my my um go in and just make everything a little more neater so i'll be back in a few all right y'all i'm back sorry about the, the shaking a little bit so what i did i let it dry a little bit and i painted the sides but i think it will be really cute if y'all paint the sides gold it just make it look so much better so i'm gonna do this on camera so y'all can see and i just got my um reamy reamer well i don't think this one is called a reamy a bead reamer i don't know what this one called i just seen it and i knew that i can draw with it i mainly when i paint i mainly use um this right here to paint mainly everything but i'm just for the purpose of this video i'm showing y'all how to paint with the brushes so i just yeah i go over that and fix that um and then sometimes you can paint the edges before you do that. But I go in and clean that up. So let's just start on the design. We're going to start with this one right here. So I'm going to use a, a gold paint. So this color is, I think it's Splendor Gold by Americana. So we're going to, let's make circles. Just make circles. See that circle? Make circles. And then you just put them wherever you want to put them on that main color, um, which is a um, a dark purple that looks black. I don't know how it's showing up on the camera, but so you're going to put those there. So you're going to use that gold. Then we're going to, I could go on and do that one real quick. Cause I can go in and clean that up. Y'all, when I'm doing earrings, I move really quickly. Oh, okay, that's good right there. So we're gonna use gold. So now let's go in with the green that I had earlier. So we just make some dots. You see that? You make them. And just put them all around like that. All right. And let me go on and do this side over here. They don't have to be a certain size or nothing like that. The beautiful part about creating art is just uniqueness. Handmade art is uniqueness. So we use the green. So the next color I'm going to use is some of this red right here. So we just put some dots too. I hope y'all can kind of see it coming along. See that? And then let's take some over here. I don't even know if y'all can see this other earring over here. Because I can't see what I'm doing. Alright, so we did that. So now let's get some white. So I'm going to dip this in some white. And then let's. Maybe let's 
over here. For some reason, this shape look a little bigger than this shape. But that's the part about wood. It'll be a, the same exact. I think over here, I'm going to put a little more red. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that gold that I use on the big circles and just put it in the little one. Just put some little gold specks. Okay. Y'all can use any colors y'all want. I just thought this would be a really cute color for the spring and the summer. All right. So, now I need to get some black. And mainly, this design is mainly done. I just want to, I call it my little black eyed pea design when I put this in here. Then you will see how it kind of had an African and we're just going to dip some black right in the center of those big gold circles that we did earlier. Alright. So, that is my Afrocentric design. I'm going to finish this pair up, and then I'm going to clean these up, and then I'm going to gloss them and hook them, and then y'all will see them. So, this is it. Just a cute little... Oh, I need to come over. I think I need to come over here. A cute little pair of Afrocentric design earrings for y'all to wear and gift and do all kind of... You can use this design on any, any um, thing. Bags. Um, a cup, any, you can use it. It's y'all's. So, the beautiful part is y'all email me. And when y'all do this, email me. I put the email in the description box and or across the screen. And, sh and send me what y'all created so when I do my next video, I can show some of the people and give y'all a shout out. So, um, I'm going to show y'all another clip of the finished product once it's glossed and everything. And... Thank y'all for watching. If y'all like these videos, please thumbs up. Um, hit the notification button for more videos like this. I have a link down below for how to make a how to make an African woman design. The link is in the description box, and it's my PayPal link. And it is twenty dollars to learn how to create that Afrocentric Afro woman design. Just you know, put it in and then put in notes. Um, for Afrocentric design. And I will send you the link. The video link of that video. Okay. Alright fam. I'm finished with the design. I had them in my ear. I'm going to show y'all them in my ear. They came out really cute. So I want y'all please email me y'all pictures. And I'll feature them. Of the pair y'all created. Look how dope they are. So pretty. Yeah. All right. Let me go back to the other video. <laughs> a lot, a lot. But these came out really pretty. I'm keeping this pair for myself. But yes, y'all can. This print is for the world. This exactly print right here. Not these, but this print right here is for y'all. So and on a on the back is fingerprinting and I have a video I'll put that link in the description box so y'all can it's just fingerprinting just get real creative with that so they came out another pair that I did in a similar design um another pair right here also in the back um, some unks fingerprinting on the back with a blue bead 
and some Africas. You can paint it on the back. The black seed. So I hope y'all enjoy this design. If you would like to um, learn how to make this pair of earrings, I'm going to show y'all. Check the description box and you will see a PayPal link. Once you, When you see that PayPal link, click the pay, PayPal link and pay $20. And once you pay that, within 24 hours, you will receive um, a link to the video to show y'all how to make the earrings I just showed y'all. All right. I will be doing more of these videos. Um just designs just showing you different designs and when i show y'all how to make different designs they are y'all's to keep okay and on top of that it will always be an extra video to show you how to make do a different other design all right salam salam